kaji tomanga ulele kumu agalo hina la de rumbaba ese yara mara de boke ore ngole mare gelwa na ibogalde na abik ke ina kaji wa maninye na na ngoninye na ba na ri unan nejam ana na ogu Tamanka Olelekumok is not your ordinary 10-year-old boy. A few months ago, Tamanka would wake up early in the morning to take his father's goats out to graze. A month ago, tired of herding the goats and seeing other children go to school, Tamanka ran away from his father's home, leaving the goats behind. Today, he still wakes up early in the morning, only now, Tamanka is going to school. Nah sajeng kang, apa nak sajeng? Mak kang nak sajeng? Nai nyororo, nalo orang kang? Nai udah balu orang kang? Napa nak gan? Nai nai ringgit silikit, nalo orang kang sadar la nak kerja? Bawa yang mana cuma ringgit? Mereka lagi ya, nalo ru, nara nak nanti nada, saja, saja sarumanari. Nai nyororo, nau siapa elisero? Nai mu elisero, kami walang rasun nala nari, nai mu nalo ru, nalo ru. Amara, amai wa, ini aku amali muri ini wa, naik lagi kan? Nai amali mu kaya di obis, naji di ini wa. Nado mana? Nai lama aku obis. Ini nalo mon, entah dua orang dera sa, mana kaja? Mana sa na? Piu yoga ni orang tu orang dera ba? Ni bunuh nu bayar kaja? Palu ni jangan orang kelam. Di masa dera lo, nai aku, nai jangan ni bunuh nu apa kaja? Ni bunuh nu wa. Torosei Primary School was started in 1977 to cater for the educational needs of Maasai children in the area. Since then it has seen many pupils come and go. Girls who barely escaped early marriages and boys who were once herders or warriors, most of whom returned to become teachers. We, the people you are seeing in front here, and other people have done the same exam. Okay? Okay, we are on that page 88. Where did you get that? Yo, this is. Okay, now you want to write a sentence, are you? Ah, the letter yo. This is a name. Very good. Say this is a name. This is a name. Again. This is a name. This is a banana. Sentence, are you aware? Eh. 
Mr. Emmanuel Kidali, the school's headmaster, like all other teachers in the school, was once a pupil here. He knows all too well the challenges Maasai boys, like Tamanka, face in their quest for education. I attended the uh, Torosei Primary School in the year 1983. I started at nursery, then I proceeded now from there and I up to class 8. You, you, you also need to be one in your future life. Initially, my father never wanted me to be in school because I was a very good shepherd. I looked after my father's uh, animals and I was very responsible. I could take care of them and no even one loss. So my father said that uh, let others go to school because he's a very responsible boy. He can take care of these flocks. Let him stay. Then when I saw my, my, my brothers and sister going to school, that I was also actually motivated to go. Then one morning I decided to wake up very early in the morning. I come to school without my parents' knowledge. It's lunchtime when Tamanka and friends come out to play. According to Maasai tradition, a circumcised boy of Tamanka's age is considered to be a young Moran, a warrior. Morans are known to live with careless abandon of social norms. Intoxicated with their freedom, most Morans run away from school and anything else that inhibits their lifestyle. One morning, Tamanka and another boy uh, come to my office. They came to my office. I was very much surprised because they are dressed in the Maasai shukas. And then they came to my office and they told me, Mwalimu, we want to be in school. Because uh, initially there have been Morans. Even the, the, the other one was from a, a neighboring location called Rwanje. And then they told me, Mwalimu, we want to be enrolled in school. I was very much happy because uh, maybe the life they have underwent the rule of Moranship, maybe stealing, stealing other people's animals, maybe looking after properties. They have seen that that one will not take them far. It's a wastage of time. They came to my office. Tumanga told me that uh, I want to be enrolled in school. And uh, I agreed. In fact, I just enrolled them. I admitted them there. This one is the first case I've seen in school. Uh, a Moran coming to my office telling me that I want to be in school. Uh, actually, I was very much uh, carried because uh, if, if that kind of a, a, a mind can come to a child, he has been seeing people going to school, he has heard of maybe people who have succeeded because of education, and uh, he just uh, got moved that I, I should go and, uh, and get education. Get I also met with the father, then I told him that uh, this boy looks uh, uh, very bright, and I promise you that uh, when you allow him to be in school, he's going to change your family. And that's exactly what I did, I enrolled him, I bought uniform for him, he's now in school. Kadola Gashiva Mode in a Lomba Lodu, Nanjala Rangamdua, Nanyanga Gingalani, Nago Njala Sara Marino Lombo, Nago Kadola Jacashibo, Lingahiva Julinga Mabel, Ama Valu Sugu, Arangam Visida, Murian Clanina, Nanjala Yangaria, Mulu Nababa Negada, and Yang 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 an ancient land, ready for change. And I'm proud to be a woman. So how this all work? Tradition and modernity. 
I'm strong. We prove that we can do it. We've seen them live. Hopes and challenges. We bring you the faces of Africa. All cultures have their do's and don'ts, their taboos. The Maasai are no different. For example, as a Moran, Tamanka is not allowed to eat food that is cooked in fat by a woman. Likewise, an elder's decision is highly regarded and cannot be overturned unless other elders are consulted. It's for that reason that Tamanka's decision to go against his father's wishes was not taken lightly. Tamanka's mother, Simon Toy Lekomog, is 28 years old and already a mother of five children, three boys and two girls. She passes her days at home with other women busying themselves with their beadwork. Unlike her husband, Simon Toy fully supported her son's decision to go to school. <laughs> Yalipokuja at 10 years old, Tamanka does not speak or understand English or Swahili. Through the help of his teacher Esther Kilepo, he has mastered his ABCs and 123s and looks forward to spelling and writing his name. Tumanga's progress is good because he is a boy who came according to his will and when he came here he is willing to learn. So when I try to teach him, he try his best to do according to what I am telling him to do. He has good relationship with others because uh, when he came here, we told him he want to learn. He should stay the way others are staying and he should not see that he's grown up because when people come to school, they are equal, young or old, all of them are people. When he came here, he came late. So for me, I was not taking him as a standard one people. I just told him to stay for this time. And then this next year, I want him to start with standard one. And he accepted. D, 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 Anna. B, D. D. When we are not uh, in class, I just take him aside and teach him how to write letters, name them, how to write numbers, and name them. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, I, J, K, N. I don't know Ma 
lakini najua si wa wa mama wa Masai hatuna nguvu kwa wazee lakini mimi napenda sana Simon Toy knows of the life she could have had had she been as courageous as her son Tamanka for her educating her children is her only consolation Mimi nilianza shuleni eh nilifika darasa la sita. Siku endelea kwa sababu nilitolewa shuleni na baba. <laughs> Alinitoa tu kwa sababu ya kuelewa. Alinitoa nikaolewa nyumbani akanipeana kwa mzee. Baba Rumanga. <laughs> Nilisikia vibaya sana lakini sina nguvu nikatoka tu nikaenda. Nilikuwa napenda shuleni kwa sababu siku hizi ni masomo tu ndio msingi ya dunia. Eh? Yeah. Nilikuwa nataka tu kuendelea kama nilikuwa nimeendelea na masomo mpaka nikamaliza ningekuwa ninapata kasi kama ya, ya, ya kufundisha watoto kama ya kasi ya daktari e, maisha itakuwa tofauti na yule mtu ambaye hajaingia shuleni wanawake wa Masai hawana nguvu kwa wazeni wao tu ndio wako chini ya wazee wao mi nikisema kitu ifanyike kama mzee ataki hiyo kitu haitafanyika mpaka tu mzee akubali mm. Nataka watoto wangu aende shuleni kwa sababu ni elimu ndio siku hizi iko juu ya watu ya vitu vyote. Mimi nilikuwa napenda sana kienda shuleni, nilikuwa napenda sana. Lakini karibu wiki mbili ilipita Rumanga hata ukikutana na baba yake, ai, ai, ni mbaya sana. Au gagranya ra? Amo ara sana ya mrigianga ma yusho le valu rusho ago ke ke ine lua dola joke gada akaside Oro hi gi mamosi na osho nyorjo kuna go gi mara su ni go gradi dia Honi nga joke ra goro kage nyaga nyaga dola ma ga ide sheba amo ese ma yi na ra dua joro nyorjo gi gelare ga Friday evening, school is over and the weekend's ahead. Tamanka's life takes a whole new meaning as he goes to help his father with the livestock. He stops being a clothed person, as the Maasai say, and becomes a young Moran, all decked out in his Maasai shukas and jewelry. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here. It's early Saturday morning in Deben location, which is some 12 kilometers from Tamanka's primary school. The whole family is gathered here to inspect the goats and collect the morning milk which they used to prepare tea. Young children amongst the Maasai learn how to milk goats from a very young age. This is done every morning before the goats go out to graze under the supervision of Tamanka's father, Lekumok Lakando. <laughs>
An ancient land, ready for change. And I'm proud to be a woman. So how this all works. Tradition and modernity. We can't stop to prove it. We can do it. We've seen them life. Hopes and challenges. We bring you the faces of Africa. <laughs> Tamanka was gracious enough to offer us a goat for our lunch, which we happily accepted. The Maasai are well known for their livestock and their attachment to even the smallest kid in the flock. It is therefore quite an honor for a goat to be slaughtered in your name. The slaughtering process, however, is quite a ritual and not everyone can stomach it. Tamanka's older brother Panai may not look it out of his uniform, but is also a pupil at Torresoy Primary School. He joins his brother over the weekend to help their father with the goats.
eager to learn and with big dreams ahead, Tamanka hopes that education will improve his family's livelihood and that of the Maasai community. <laughs> Okay. Hey. 